How would I describe myself? Three words. Hardworking, alpha male, jackhammer, merciless, insatiable. We need good people and we need them fast. In this video, we're gonna share with you what we do to get great employees and what we advise our corporate clients. Let's get to it. Hi everyone, this is Joseph. I'm the managing partner here at Zan Associates where we solve legal problems with creative solutions. How do you hire great people and you do it very quickly? So number one, look to your clients. A lot of people who have chosen your business or your company, they already like you. If you identify somebody who would be a good fit, Maybe ask, oh, by the way, are you looking for a job? Or um, we, are, we are so desperate looking for new employees. It's so hard. Are you interested? <laughs> right, you, know, you see what I'm saying? I wanna tell you that at our firm, a third of our employees were actually our clients in the first place. I'm not saying go hire every single client, right? I'm just saying that's a great place to find people that you already know. You already know their habits, you know, maybe you already know their family, tap into that. The second way is family and friends. I wanna tell you that a third of our company are family and friends. We have, I think, over six couples. If your company is thinking about this policy, this is what I would recommend. Because the employee knows what the company needs, what position needs to be filled, and the employee also knows the family and the friend, right? Let them make the pitch. And if it is a good fit, and if the friend and family wants to come and does come, maybe give the referral bonus to the employee as opposed to some random HR recruiter, right? Toby is in HR, which technically means he works for corporate. So he's really not a part of our family. Also, he's divorced, so he's really not a part of his family. The third way is to do promotions from internally and externally. So if a position is vacant, well, maybe there's somebody below that can be promoted up to rise to that level to fill it. I'm not saying just promote everybody, right? But if somebody has been there for a while, maybe, or maybe they've only been there for a few months, but they have the potential, well then give them that opportunity. Think about what kind of loyalty that builds for those associate level positions. I am promoting you from assistant to the regional manager to assistant regional manager. I don't know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I wouldn't be offering it if I didn't think you could handle it. You can also promote from externally, from outside the company. Let me explain what we did. There are managers in our Shanghai office and in our Taipei office. When we really needed another senior manager here, we just directly got their visa and applied them and they came over. Internal transfers, whether within the same department, same company, or within the um, affiliate companies, it might be better and easier and quicker than hiring somebody completely brand new into the CFO position, the CEO position, or a director level position, right? So a quick recap, how to hire somebody quick, fast, and good in three ways. One, hire direct clients or partners that already identify with your brand and your company. The second way, hire friends and family. The third way is to promote from internally and externally. Are you afraid that you're promoting people too quickly? Don't, don't be afraid. Trust them, let people rise to the level of expectation that you bestow upon them. Forget about Craigslist, LinkedIn, ZipRecruiter, or anything else that just feeds all, all these resumes. A lot of the resume is, is a work of fiction. It says here on your resume that you spent the last 15 years as a sales rep for Dow Chemical. That's right. You know, we live together, right? Yes. And I've never seen you go to work, ever. Okay. So why is this on your resume? Use these three ways and potentially you could get those few positions that are vacant filled up very quickly and let's get on with our life. 